A recent research shows that most of our children, 70%, believe that schools are not a safe place. In addition, they highlighted that schools did not have security guards, but instead watchmen who were ill-equipped to ensure their safety. We therefore put forward these recommendations for principals, board chairpersons, PTAs, and the government to consider for implementation and conversation. One, immediately commission departments of socialization in all public primary and secondary schools. This new department will be headed by guidance counselors and will be staffed by the guidance counselor the deans of disciplines and form teachers. Formulating this department will immediately place over 40 adults under one umbrella to be trained, coordinated, organized, and deployed for the purpose of interaction, monitoring, problem solving, and consistent adult supervision inside and outside of classes. These departments these department employees will ensure at all times of non-class interaction, in particular lunch, time, and immediately after school, that they're monitored to a ratio of no less than one adult to 200 students. We should also rethink and remunerate, rethink and rethink the remuneration for form teachers. Form teachers should be trained and, and positioned as senior teachers with a ad additional remuneration of no less than $20,000 per month. In addition, there should be perks given to form teachers as this socialization par concept is a necessary part of the improving of our students' experience. We should immediately design, um, <clears throat> immediately design and implement form teacher training in areas of behavior modification depression identification, spotting gangs and drug addiction, spotting bullying, and also participating in adequate interventions whenever there are circumstances necess necessitating intervention. We should immediately hire more deans of discipline to achieve a ratio of one to 600, or at worst, a dean of discipline to a lower school and a dean of discipline to a upper school. In this case, you will have a dean of discipline within primary schools for grades 1 to 3 and a dean of discipline within primary schools from grades 4 to 6. At the secondary level, you will have a specific dean of discipline focusing on forms 1 to 3 and another dean of discipline focusing on forms um, 10 to 30. Hire more guidance counselors to reduce the student's counter ratio to 1 to 400. Consider staggered lunch and dismissal times to increase the adult to student ratios during lunch and dismissal, which are the highest risk periods. This could include corridor lunch rooms for, with folding furniture to have students purchase lunch and return to their form corridors and consume said lunch. Rethink the tension. We propose that the tension practices should be reconsidered, especially for students who are participants in violent behavior, or for the promotion, celebration, or the videoing of violent behavior. The new detention regime should detain the student for a term, for a term long participation in peace education and not just for short term punishment. The student may also be detained for recommended participation in uniform corps, such as the scouts, cadets, or girls guides. We also suggest that we prepare and immediately implement a special summer program for peace education mandated for students disposed to violence. These students can be recommended from the guidance counselor, the grade coordinator, deans of discipline, coaches, principals, or form teachers. We ask that the government consider to tie the PATH program to parent participation in PTA activities as well as parents and guardians showing up when requested by the school. Continuation of access to PATH 
should therefore be on a term report basis where schools indicate that parents have shown interest and has come to school whenever they are requested. We think schools should be equipped with closed circuit cameras and the government should embark upon a system to have a school eye similar to the promotion of the Jamaican eye to have for these to be a deterrent to violent activity and also a increase in likelihood for punishment for violent activity. Employer zero tolerance approach to violence participation expanded to include promotion, cheering, filming, or the failure to report. Repercussions could include detention for particular peace education, as I highlighted earlier, or detention to participate in school chores, such as garbage cleaning, bathroom cleaning, or other duties. Mandatory participation in, uni in uniform corps, suspension, disqualification from recreation, etc., are also to be considered. Reward good behavior. This can be done in the form by form teachers distributing tickets to the monthly after school parties for the well behaved or end of term fairs for the well behaved. Additionally, we call upon the private sector to, to engage the government so that they can encourage with the assistance of gift vouchers such as fast food vouchers, telephone cards, cafeteria vouchers for sodas or cake, discount vouchers for stores, and other activities that reward the good behaving students. We also recommend that a reimagine reform schools and reform boarding schools. We feel that the separation from the bad influence and separation from their communities, separation even at times from their families, are very important if we should engage on behavior modification and reform for students who are likely to, be, to need separation from the other students for the other students' own protection. We have found from recent research that as much as 15% of students not engaged in school are because they have been expelled from school. And so now they have no method or no possibility for behavior modification. We therefore propose that within the regions, education regions, there should be at least one reform school for boarding of students who need additional help, psychological and otherwise. We ask that the government further employ three psych ch child psychiatrists per region and offer scholarships to serve as an inducement to have this specialization in child psychology. We ask that you establish a department of volunteerism tasked with the job of encouraging, vetting, coordinating and deploying well-thinking Jamaicans willing to participate in mentorship extra lessons, telephone tutorial, club and society supervision, etc. Organize weekend peace education and behavior modification classes to include parents, guardians, and that could include a mommy and me, a daddy and me, for classes that are important for understanding and reduce the difference between socialization at home and socialization at school. We also ask for the implementation of a big brother slash big sister program. And this will pair young students at risk of bullying with fourth, fifth, and sixth form big brothers and big sisters that may look out for these students while they are at school. We further ask to encourage school attachment through devotions, school songs, school color days, and online school support competitions that will cause four persons to be more attached. At this time, I think it is also important to congratulate Issa, who has separated the competition of the Walker Cup from the Manning Cup, giving a chance for higher attachment in other schools that would have been unlikely to be competitive with less resources um, moving forward. Finally, we ask for the reintroduction of our values and attitudes program and campaign that was suggested and implemented by former Prime Minister P.J. Patterson and the government at that time. We believe if these steps are taken with urgency, we will be able to, to, to drastically reduce 
the occurrence of violence in schools while we work together to re-engineer a society where our children and citizens are not so disposed to violence.